Number 19. Starting with the definitions of momentum and kinetic energy, derive an equation for the kinetic energy of a particle expressed as a function of its momentum. All right. So um, let's recall what the equation for kinetic energy is, right? Kinetic energy uh, is equal to one half multiplied by the mass of the object multiplied then by its velocity squared. And what's the formula for momentum? Well, it's right over here on the right hand side and I'll just write it over here as well. So the momentum of an object is equal to the mass of that object multiplied by its velocity. So now from here, um, we can do this in a couple of ways. I think it might be easiest to, uh, ba so basically what's the idea? Basically we have to somehow get momentum into this equation, okay? So I have to look and see what uh, variables are in common between the kinetic energy equation and the momentum equation. I notice I have both mass and velocity in common. So what that means is that I can solve this equation for either mass or velocity and then simply plug it in to the equation on the left hand side. Okay, so either way you're going to do it will be fine. I'm going to solve this thing for mass. Okay, just because I get to plug it into a non-squared term. So maybe opportunity for less mistakes, right? So let's simply then divide the velocity out of that side. Okay, so we notice then that the uh, momentum divided by the velocity is equal to the mass of the object. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this result and like I said before, plug it in for the mass in the kinetic energy equation. So kinetic energy is going to be equal to one half multiplied by the momentum over the velocity. I'll put that in parentheses, right? Times and the velocity squared. Now notice that this velocity squared is really over one. So really I have two velocities divided by one velocity, right? So there's two v's up here, okay, and divided by one v. So what can I do? I can simply cancel the one in the denominator here and reduce the uh, uh, velocity in the numerator by one as well, right? So basically this works out to be kinetic energy is equal to one half, right? One half multiplied by the momentum of the object then multiplied by its velocity, okay? And that would be the uh, formula that relates kinetic energy to momentum. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Please remember to hit that subscribe button, and I'll see you in the next question. Have a great day.